Hi there, this is Elon from MetroBoard, and today I wanted to show you our Hall Ring PCB, which is this ring shaped circuit board which we install on our brushless Outrunner motors to basically make them a censored motor. Um, some motors have Hall sensors built into them, but uh, we actually install our own circuit board externally to the uh, brushless motor because we want to ensure the best possible sensors, and also we can adjust the timing of the motor by adjusting the position of the Hall Ring relative to the windings. Uh, so here you can see the little circuit board. It's basically got three hall sensors, as you can see, one, two, three, spaced 120 degrees apart. Okay, so here you can see the uh, hall PCB, which is sandwiched between two black aluminum rings. And this is the part that actually gets mounted on the motor. Um, so you can actually see the hall sensors are right there. And this is the part that mechanically enables us to put the circuit board onto the motor. Okay, so here you can see the hall ring assembled to the motor. So you got the black hall ring here, and then here's the motor face cap. So the ring actually has the ability to be rotated relative to the face cap so we can adjust the timing of the motor. And the goal of this adjustment is to get the no load current as low as possible and also the same in both directions. So when the motor's spinning clockwise and counterclockwise, the no load current will be the same. So you can see I've already adjusted it here, but I'm gonna show you how it works. So I'm gonna drive the motor, and hold on a second so you can see this. Okay, so you can see. So you have to adjust the decimal point one point, but that's basically 0.86 amps being drawn when the motor spins counterclockwise, which is the normal direction it spins. Now I'm going to reverse the motor. It just takes a second. Now if I do the same thing, now it's going clockwise. You can see the no load current is also right around 85 or 0.85 amps. And that's the goal of this time is to get the uh, no load current as low as possible in both directions and that they be the same. And that's called the neutral timing of the motor and that enables the motor to perform the, uh, the, the most efficiently in both directions.